Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga teacher. So today in this video we are going to talk about whether the fat diet, especially the low fat diet is good for health or not good for health whether they should include fat into their diet or not, whether they should totally avoid fat or they should have little bit of fat because these days a lot of research has been going on and in most of the research papers it has been written you should not eat fat, you should not eat fat, you should not eat fat, fat cause obesity. But uh, Ayurveda has different perspective to look at fat because you would be surprised to know it is like little fat diet is needed for the body for lubrication purpose. Because in Ayurveda we always support the snigd ahara. Snigd means the food that contains little bit of oil content in it. Ayurveda is a great supporter of cooked food as we all know and at the same time fruits, ripe fruits and cooked food. So, in cooked food, whenever it comes to cooked food, the kind of food that has been mentioned in Ayurveda, it is not totally boiled food. It is always a snigd ahara means, snigd means oily food. So, that means excessive oily food? No. It means little bit content of oil should be there in the food. Whatever diet you are taking, it should have few drops of oil. So, that is, that will make your health much better. If we uh, try to understand the Ayurveda principles, in Ayurveda principle whole food supply whatever happen to various organs and various parts of our body, it happens through channels. Uh, whether it is blood channels like it is also known as strotas. So, strotas is a Sanskrit word for channels. So, whether it is a, uh, whether it is a, uh, blood channels or uh, lymphatic channels or manovastrotas that is mind channels, however mind operates that also works through manovastrotas means mind channels. Because in Ayurveda we do not consider mind only present over here. According to Ayurveda concept mind present, mind is present throughout our body and how mind functions the way we think, the way we feel like anger or anything it gets distributed throughout our body with manovastrotas or the mind channels. Uh, how we can understand it? For example, when you get angry, for example, you feel the notion of anger. It is not this anger you feel over here in mind because in mind some thought come about anger, but where the feeling comes, you feel like the heartbeat becomes high, you feel the eyes become red, you feel you sometimes if a lot of anger your face become red. And uh, many times this happens like whole your body comes under this kind of tension. Have you ever thought why this happened? If because anger should be in mind only, why it is happening in the body? Because if we go through Ayurveda concepts, Ayurveda says whatever we think that finds expression in our body as manovahastrotas. For example, in mind if you have a lot of negative thoughts, so these negative thoughts flows through your body and create uh, these negative thoughts flows through your body and can create disturbances at various places. That is why in Ayurveda a lot of importance has been given to think good, think for well being of others, do not uh, abuse other people, do not uh, create hatred or jealousy kind of emotions within you because these jealousies are not going to affect other person rather these jealousies are going to affect and harm you more not the other person. That is why in Ayurveda a lot of importance has been given to strotas that is channels and to lubricate these strotas or lubricate these channels there is the importance of having little bit of oily food or little bit oil in the food like 2-3 drops of oil in one meal there is nothing bad in it or 1-2-3 drops of ghee in the food that is also very beneficial. So, let us try to understand what is Ayurveda concept of consuming ghee and what is the Ayurveda concept of consuming oil. Uh, regarding oil, if you would like to know which kind of oil is beneficial for you, so there is our oil related video we have created especially for uh, you which kind of oil is best suitable for you. So, you please watch this video there is a link below and you can figure out which oil will be beneficial for you. So, this is another concept but yes Ayurveda recommends ghee in the diet. 
but how much ghee is needed that depends from person to person according to their body type according to their physical activities according to their digestive fire as different people have different needs so accordingly the dose of ghee or oil can be decided but uh, uh, but for example if some person has a lot of cardiac problems and his bp is hypertension he is a patient of hypertension and blood pressure is very high that is very beyond uh, normal limit then in these cases we request people not to have ghee try to avoid all the fat because already there is a possibility of atherosclerosis and many kind of these things but in that cases also we need to avoid trans fat more because trans fat is more uh, cause atherosclerosis or uh, kind of fat deposition in the arteries but the kind of pure ghee the organic ghee which which i am talking about which is not hydrogenated ghee this is uh, the traditional ghee that we cook uh, out of this butter which we cook in the homes so this ghee the organic kind this kind of ghee is beneficial for health but that doesn't mean you start eating too much ghee because our ancestors were eating too much ghee no because our ancestors were eating too much ghee but they were also exerting too much physically as we are not exerting so much physically so our need of ghee is less we should not eat that much we should not eat that much ghee as the amount of ghee our ancestors were eating